Last minute decision, she's going in the water. Today's video is bits and pieces of us putting it together because we are on a timeline. You hear this music? All right, here we go, you ready? Here we go. It's just, uh, it's just loose and just. I mean, these are a little rotted. The holes that the screws go in. Well, then why don't we just get a new one made of beef egg? I mean, because we well, need we to can, spend if it's the money dry, on. we keep it indoors, dry it out. We can fill this with epoxy and drill new holes, and it'll be solid. So yeah. I was gonna put it on, but. Can they put it on while we just do our sale? Yeah, yeah. And then... yeah, yeah. Put it on, and we'll just take it off later. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I guess you want to come up here, huh? I can no, do this I'm after. just going to go around the side. We're ready to hold that window in place and uh, and start working on. Uh, You mean moron. Right? Yeah. It's very flowy. You're very flowy. Just make it last through half the can and we'll use half the can to do the other window. Yeah, two more windows after that. I know, we'll go buy one more. One more can will get us all the way through both little windows. Which we can't do till tomorrow anyway. I look totally atrocious, oh geez. All right, well, the boat's done. It's blue, look at the bottom of it, it's so pretty. Chris did such a good job sanding that, like, it 
is smooth, which is so nice. It's only ever been that smooth once. And I painted the black line. Uh, I didn't, I dripped a little. Um, <laughs> but it's not super, super awful, so I'm not here to complain. We put the windows on today. There you go, all done, sealed on, nice and tight. We got a bar of the friend's engine because we didn't order ours yet. And uh, Chris, you can hear him, is down here right now tightening this. So, oh, what a lot of work. So I'm working full time right now and we got called on Monday and we're told, hey, so the guy behind you wants his boat out, that boat back there. And so you need to move your boat um, because we d we can't get to the boat behind you, even though, to be honest, they do have enough room. I think that they just want us out of the dry dock. But that being said, all we needed to do was get the boat in tip top shape to uh, put it in the water. And Chris spent four days straight working on the boat and we've been here every day this weekend and I work full time, so I couldn't really be here during the week, but Rockstar Man over there did a lot of work. Um, that being said, we're done. We are ready for tomorrow. I'm super excited. We're putting her in the water. Anyway, I will talk to you guys for my next video, which will probably be our trip up to Cat's Paws' actual slip, which I'm super excited about. Tomorrow we drop her in the water, and then the next day my dad's coming down with my brother-in-law, and we're going to sail her up the river to where her permanent spot is going to be at least for the next year or so so anyway i'll see you guys for my next video hit that like button favorite and subscribe if you want to see more because we are redoing this somewhat beautiful but annoying 1976 rhinel sailboat and i will talk to you guys all later bye